come out and play on the stage so you guys can go home and talk about a great show forever. That's all I care about. My husband and I both love the interviews and uh, that's just the best part, learning about their early lives. When I first came out, uh, you know, all the reviewers would, would give me reviews like if this guy lasts one year, he's going to be lucky, you know. Because Dee Dee Diana was kind of a gimmicky record anyway. I held my nose and I did it. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's the truth. And I have to say, a lot of the critics held their noses too when they heard it. <laughs> we were at the Shea Stadium many years ago, and uh, they had this revolving stage and my drummer fell off. <laughs> he went, did he keep time, though? Did he keep time? He kept time That's on the symbol. To go hear interviews with the stars, all right, and hear stories that you'll not hear anywhere talking about how they started out and all, just absolutely incredible experience. The promoter who was promoting the record, I remember, actually, I met the guy years ago. He's still, he's still with us. And he went in and he played it. And Alan Free said, boy, that girl can sing. And the promoter said, it's no girl, it's a guy. He says, he must be awfully little. <laughs> but most of us came up in church, and which was great but, uh, for me. I grew up in church because I didn't have no choice. My father was the pastor. <laughs> <laughs> to learn a little bit more intimacy about these people is really um, heartwarming. Yeah, I just never thought I, the next record would hit. But in the meantime, in my career of writing, I've been on the charts 35 times. Some of the stories I, I would have never even known because all you see any time is the performer, but actually is listening to what they had to go through to get to that point is, is amazing. Mm -hmm.